Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. I'm back with another video and for this week I thought I would vlog because I have kind of a busy day. Not really, but kind of. And I wanted to bring you guys along with me. So, yeah, it is currently Saturday, September 11th, 2021. I do want to start this video by saying it is 9-11 and if you or a family member had someone involved in 9-11 or you lost someone due to 9-11, I just want to say that I am so sorry and God bless you. I know that this is a hard time not only for our country but also for a lot of families themselves. So thank you for everyone who had a family member that sacrificed their lives to help save some of those people on that tragic day 20 years ago. Okay, so I have quite a bit to do today, not like a whole lot. I'm still in my pajamas, so if that tells you anything. Um, I have to go cut my grandfather's hair. So since COVID, my grandfather is now 87. Um, and when COVID started, I started cutting his hair for him. I cut my dad's hair too, and I cut Justin's hair once. Um, but I have to go cut his hair today, and then one of my mom's best friends is going to a college football game today, so I have to go let her dogs out around seven and feed them and let them play for a couple of hours. She recently just got a puppy, um, and she already has two other dogs, so now she has three dogs. Uh, Um, so yeah, and then I need to do some laundry and I want to clean my room. I feel like as soon as I clean my room, it turns around and gets messy again. Um, so yeah. First thing I'm going to do is start some laundry because I really need laundry done. Okay, OOTD, but Noelle from Daily Diabetics just Snapchatted me. What up, Noelle? Ignore my dirty mirror. Um, tank top is from Walmart. My shorts are Lululemon. Oh, it's on the other side. Lululemon, I got these when I went to DC. Um, I'm probably just gonna wear my Birkenstocks. Um, Apple Watch, super casual. Okay, so I just finished cutting my grandfather's hair. Every time I do it, he pays me. I don't know why. He says it's for gas money. I tell him no, and he tells me yes, and that he won't let me come cut his hair if I don't take the money, so. Yeah, um, there's that. But I always cut his hair since COVID because he's not driving anymore. Um, he's 87. So, yeah, I will put that in my savings binder because I have a binder going for savings. And now we may go to Dollar Tree. I don't know where we're gonna go. But we'll figure it out, won't we guys? I just got back from cutting my grandfather's hair and I went to Dollar Tree because I wanted to look for a couple things and I actually found the things that I wanted, which is rare because Dollar Tree's hit or miss with what they have. So, um, the first thing, oh, here's my bag of stuff. <laughs> the first thing I got um, was this, uh, it's called a lock top clip lock storage container. 
Um, they had it in three different colors. I got it in like the dark blue. And what it is, you open it and you can put like food up in the top. And then there's this little divider and you can put more food in the bottom. And I got this to take with me to work because um, normally I take like a baggie with like goldfish and like another snack and then I'll take like a sandwich or something and I can put the sandwich in the top and my goldfish and whatever else I want in the bottom. So I got this to try. Um, and then I got a lint roller. I actually really like their lint rollers for a dollar. It's a pretty good deal. Um, so I got one of those. Um, I have this headband in a couple different colors. Um, from Dollar Tree, but they had it in black. And the other Dollar Tree that I got the other ones from didn't have black. So I had to get black, but there's just like these really cute, like corduroy headbands. I have one of the other ones somewhere. Here's another colored one. Um, the black one's the exact same, but this is kind of like the material that it is. I got the black one today. I already had that pink one, but they have buttons on them which is perfect for work. So yeah, I got this one for a dollar and they actually had another color. They had like a lighter blue color, but I didn't get it. So I got the black one. And then for work, I got some pens um, to keep in our nurse's station, just in case anyone needs a pen. Um, we all kind of pitch in with this kind of stuff and it was a dollar for eight. So if any of the CNAs or the nurses need a pen, gonna take those on Monday and then also for work I got this really cute like Halloween door hanger that I'm gonna hang on our nurses station door and then the last thing which I'm super excited about because I was literally saying yesterday that I needed one of these for when I'm on call um, we used to have an on-call binder but they don't know what happened to it so I'm just gonna make my own um, it is one of these organizer files it's basically a folder with multiple different like pockets on it which I literally was saying to myself yesterday that I needed one of these and I had seen them at Dollar Tree forever ago like years ago um and then I went to Dollar Tree and the Dollar Trees I normally go to never have these and this one had it in blue purple and pink and of course I got the pink so I'm super excited about this because now I can make my own little like on-call binder Okay, so everything in this folder that I currently have for on call is in here. I do have an updated phone list with everyone's phone numbers from work, but I kind of don't remember where I put that right now. Um, so yeah, I have two empty little slots. Um, one of them, this first one is going to be the schedule for like that weekend that I'm on call. The second slot has like our on-call sheets because we get paid by the minute on top of getting paid just for being on-call in general. And then the third one is going to have my phone list. And then typically I have to turn in the old schedules, but this last time I forgot, so I sent the scheduling lady a picture of the schedule, but any like old schedules or anything like that, I am going to keep in the back pocket. So, yeah. Now I gotta go unload the dishwasher. My mom just called me and told me, she's like, hey, can you unload the dishwasher? Sure.
puppies. Okay, so I'm at my mom's friend's house and the puppy is currently chewing my finger. Um, so, this cute face, say hi. This is Blue, and this is Taz, and she has another dog named Tank who won't come out. Oh my goodness. Hi, Tazzy girl, who won't come out. They're watching me because I'm eating. Um, we got carry out from an Italian and pizza place and my dad brought it to me because I'm gonna be here for a few hours and I'm hungry. So. I have spaghetti and bread and more wine. She's very little. Very cute. Eating that rice, sweet girl. Tazzy! Right. The way that the puppy attacks Taz is so funny. Tank is still sitting on the couch. He's not sure about it. Okay, so clearly I'm still at my mom's friend's house watching the dogs. We've been playing outside a bunch. Um, my dad is bringing my mom over to meet the puppy, um, which is super exciting. So, yeah. And I don't know if you guys really care, but some backstory about this friend of my mom's. Um, her son was born two months exactly before my brother and they grew up together and like I grew up with them. So we're all like really good family friends. So yeah, that's that's whose dogs I'm watching or letting out. Um, I did stay like three nights one time to watch the dogs, but that was before she got the puppy, but now she has the puppy, so 